and welcome back to Enigma Review. So today we're going to do another small independent business, one that I've kind of known for a while and reason being I think that they added me on um, Twitter and then I added them back and I noticed that they was sharing a lot of my posts from my Twitter page and I was really appreciative on it and then I thought I want to go and check out what Plundering Productions is. So today we are going to be doing Plundering plundering productions but my for that and um i checked out what they did and i was like oh right so I, I didn't realize that they were a small independent business they do do a lot on the alternative market guys and as you know i'm quite familiar with the alternative market because i like to like share and let people know that it's there and so forth so i went ahead and purchased a tote pack i can't say that a tote bag and the reason why I wanted to try I mean there was a lot of things that I wanted from there they do a massive amount of stuff guys I'm going to just read a little bit what I've wrote down about plundering productions um I, I couldn't see when they started their business but I think they've been going for quite a while um and they're an alternative genre hand printed fashion clothing brand on designs guys and um, single-handedly bringing you screen-printed apparel designs from a twisted mind. I love what they do. I love what they bring. It's definitely up my street. So this is why I think you guys will appreciate this. And I will pop up some pictures for you guys to see. And it says, a new brand full of unfashionable designs for the non-conformity. Can I ever say this word? Conformist. <laughs> Plundering Productions will bring clothes, artwork, designs for the alternative lifestyles, be in the 50s or the 60s, retro rockers, glam rockers, metalers, all metalheads, punks and steampunkers, goths and pirates. That's that's just that just does it all really, guys. And it they actually do a huge range of things from men's women's to children's as well and i was like i could actually grab me ben and zach matching t-shirts i just thought that's something that i plan to do at christmas time guys now i just i just love the things that they bring to this and um i did say to ben what do you think of this business and it, he liked the look of it as well and little did i know that I'd been looking on there and he went ahead and he grabbed me a little bit of something and I've got that in front of me. Now they they vary on what they do guys. They do uh, masks obviously because we're going through the 2020 COVID thing, COVID virus. So obviously, you know, a lot of brands and, and people are selling the masks now. They do kids wear. That will be from t-shirts to hoodies, guys, to, um, I'm not too sure if they do tracksuit track suit bottoms for, for kids, but I know that they have boxes for the men, t-shirts, hoodies, vest tops, they do tote bags, which is what I've got in front of me, they do um, cushion covers as well, tea towels, they have a massive range of things. The women even have halter neck tops, they have shorts, they have underwear, um leggings as well I, I think i seen one about the pizza running for pizza and i thought hmm, i like that one so they have even vest dresses guys now they vary in price from 10 pound upwards i think hoodies go from about 30 pound up to about 40 pound and then you've got your tote bags at around 11 pound and then you've got your cushion covers from 11 pound upwards and so forth i think you should go and check these guys out guys check that was a mouthful weren't it check these guys out guys and see what you think because i for one think you will like it now what i got is a spell of shopping over the shoulder tote bag i have got tote bags already guys i've got a harry potter tote bag and i've got um i think i've got a pentagram tote bag somewhere it came wrapped up well guys and it was in plastic and then it had this purple tissue paper as well over the top of it and then they put thank you for shopping with us which you know 
I like that. Um, I, di I did mention that I would do a review, but I don't know if I, I did that afterwards. I should have done it before, actually. So it was £11, guys. Posted and packaging was £3.25, total £14.25. And it says, um, a spell of shopping over the shoulder tote bag, guys. So what I love about this is because it's black and what's it's got in front of it but it's an over the shoulder bag now obviously i have a back disability guys and with that back disability i struggle carrying bags at, on a normal like over my shoulder i do have a shopping trolley but i do have a shopping bag that will go over my right shoulder because i can't carry anything on my left so when i seen that ben had picked this for me he was thinking way ahead that he'd got me a bag like goes over my shoulders i will i will show you what this looks like guys but it goes over my shoulders and it sits comfortably on my hip obviously i would have to cross it the other side so it sits on my right hip and not on my left hip but guys i love it and it's a good good long strap as well so on the front a spell of shopping look at that guys i absolutely love this and at the back there is plundering productions there on the bag now let me just put it flat down so we can see now material wise guys it's a good solid material it feels very very secure it actually feels a little bit better than my other tote bag that i don't bring out very much because the straps are not that very big a lot of tote bags just kind of slip here but then there's not very big on the strap so you like you know it falls down every two minutes i find that extremely irritating with the kind of disability that i have i like my tote bag to sit comfortably if it's going to sit on my shoulders this way i need that strap to be long um but I've never really been big on tote bags, guys. But obviously, at the minute, like I'm, I'm going out and I'm grabbing a few things once a week. So I'm trying to cram everything in that once a week shop that I go and do. And my trolley's full. And then I'm like, oh, how do I hold a stick and a trolley and a bag? It gets a little bit like hard for me to do that. And it, it gets painful as well, guys. So the idea of this going across my body is absolutely amazing now i think they'll do t-shirts as well in this kind of thing um the print is lovely guys really nice print just like the print that i got on um uh, castle jildar the print is amazing as well and this is why i like these small independent businesses some prints that i've got in the past like my harry potter bag i think that was from a a company like a high up company, a well-named one. I've had it a while now, guys, but the print's faded on it. I've washed it about three times and the print's already started to come away. Now, I can just tell that this print is gonna last quite a long time and it is a good solid bag. And you can fit quite a lot in there, guys. I could fit quite a lot in there. I'd probably keep this for the lighter things. I wouldn't put like candles or anything like that in there, but I'd keep like my lighter things, like my packet things or anything like that, tights. Mm, tea bags just an example i don't i don't shop for tea bags but just like a box of blatties because i do shop for them every now and again and maybe a, some makeup and stuff like that i could stick it in here and not lose it in the bottom of my trolley and it gets smashed up and everything so that was that guy so that is plundering productions 11 pound go and check these guys out i will link everything in the description box below so you can go and check them out like i said i found well they found me on twitter and then i added them back on twitter i know they have got a facebook which you go on there to shop so i will link both their twitter and their facebook down below go and check them out and they're amazing at helping us youtubers as well so i appreciate that so thank you so so much for helping my channel and sharing my post on there. I'm sure to do the same for you guys. All right, guys, so go and check it out. Tell me what you think. Have you tried Plundering Productions before? I really want a couple of the dresses from there. Yes, I do. And I think Ben's after a hoodie from there. So maybe we'll we'll just do the whole family thing at Christmas and, and grab the whole matching set. Maybe, we'll see. 
All right, guys, take care of yourself. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.